In this video, you will discover one of the canons of human body proportions, which is based on the width of a head as the main measuring unit. This particular canon is inspired by Robert Beverly Hale, an American artist and instructor of artistic anatomy. I will use a ruling pen, a metal nib pen, and sepia ink to make a drawing with precision on colored paper. The width of the square is divided into five equal parts. I mark them in blue. Each part represents the width of a human eye. A circle can be inscribed into that square. It spans from the top of the head to the base of the nose. The height of the face takes six eyes. This dimension is marked in red here. Now, let's examine the proportions of the body. Two shoulder blades can be inscribed into five eye squares. Four five eye cubes are added below the rib cage. The width of the bottom part of the pelvis is five eyes. The upper leg from the hip joint to the knee joint is equal to three measuring units. The same measurement applies to the lower leg from the knee joint to the ground. The five eye measuring unit is used to define the pit of the neck level, the rib cage, and the waist and pelvis region. The pelvis in the side view fully fits inside the five eye measuring unit depth. Four cubes comprise the volume of the rib cage, and four more cubes contain the waist and the pelvis. There is also one interesting observation about the bones of lower and upper limbs. The thigh bone, the shin bone, the upper arm bone, the lower arm bone, and the hand with the wrist are getting smaller from one to another in a uniform manner. The thigh is measured as three five eye units, while the hand is equal to the height of the face. Keep in mind that all people are different, and proportions are not absolute rules. Rather, they are a guide of what you can measure to find discrepancies between theory and life. 